Rockstar have just adjusted the prices of several of the most popular and what some consider to be the most overpowered vehicles in Grand Theft Auto Online. Let's go ahead and dive into what they said on the Newswire. They said, we will be updating prices for several current vehicles in GTA Online on April 27th to better reflect their value to players. Certain vehicles will see their cost adjusted down to make them more accessible including some with fun and unique features and counter-attacking capabilities. Conversely, some vehicles with outsized utility, performance, or powerful weaponry will see their prices increased. Check out the full list of vehicle pricing adjustments below and stay tuned as we will continue reevaluating vehicle pricing as we move forward. So let's go ahead and go down the list. We start with the Brute Armored Boxville. This was originally $2,926,000. It is now $1,300,000. So that means the new price of the Brute Armored Boxville will be $1,626,000 cheaper than before. That is obviously a massive drop. Moving on to a vehicle that looks like it's getting a price bump, and that is the Buckingham Akula. So the Buckingham Akula used to be $3,704,050, and now it is going to be $4,500,000. So the Buckingham Akula just became $795,950 more expensive. So some of these, if you don't have them, you're going to want to have to wait until their new price. Others, you might want to get them before they become more expensive, including the next vehicles we're going to be looking at, the Declasse Granger 3600 LX. The old price is $1,380,000, and its new price is going to be $2 million. That is a price increase of $620,000. So once again, you're going to want to get the Declasse Granger 3600 LX before April 27th, because if you don't, you're going to have to pay over a half million dollars more. Following that is the Declasse Scramjet, which used to have a price of $3,480,000. Now it is jumping all the way up to $4 million. That is a pretty big jump right there. In fact, you're actually going to be paying $520,000 more after this new vehicle change. After that, it's the Debauchi Champion, which has a price currently of $2,995,000. After the update, it's going to have a new price of $3,750,000. Once again, a pretty massive jump. In fact, that jump is to the tune of $755,000. You can see what Rockstar is doing here. They're making some of the best and what some could be considered the most overpowered vehicles in the game incredibly expensive. After that, it's the HVY Chernabog, which has a current price of $3,311,700. This is actually going to be reduced to its new price of $1,000,000. $500,000. So the HVY Chernabog is going to get less expensive. So this is one of those vehicles in which you want to wait on. You don't want to purchase it right now. We'll obviously recap that at the end of the video, which ones you want to wait until April 27th in order to buy. Because that right there is savings of $1,811,700 bucks. That's obviously pretty cool. After that, it is the Imponte Deluxo, which is getting a pretty significant price bump. It has a price now of $4,721,500. It's actually getting bumped all the way up to $5,750,000. That's an increase of $1,028,500 for the Deluxo, the Back to the Future DeLorean that was added a couple of years ago. Now, its counterpart, on the other hand, the Imponte Ruiner 2000, the Knight Rider, it's actually becoming a whole lot less expensive. If you'd like to purchase this vehicle right now, it's going to cost you $5,745,600, but just in a couple of weeks, it becomes $3,750,000. $50,000, which is a significant drop in nearly 2 million bucks 
$1,995,600. Now, after that, it is the Mammoth Thruster, which is the Jetpack. The Jetpack is also getting a little bit cheaper. I, I can understand why Rockstar put such an enormous price tag on it at the very beginning, but now it is dropping to a significantly cheaper price, which I think reflects it well. So it was $3,657,500. Now it's going to be $2,500,000, which is a drop of $1,000,000. 157,500 bucks. That's pretty good stuff right there. Same with the Mammoth Tula. This guy kind of overpriced as well. And I think Rockstar ended up realizing that. And so its price right now, $5,173,700. And it is only going to be, I say only, $4,100,000 after the change, which is going to save you a little over a million dollars. $1,073,700. Moving on after that, it is the Ocelot Stromberg with the ability to go on land and in water. Its price now is $3,185,350. After the update, it is going to become $2,500,000. So that's going to save you nearly $700,000, 685000 $350. That is a pretty significant drop. Now, we're getting on to, I think, the two most controversial ones here. Let's start with the Pegasi Oppressor, which currently is priced at $3,524,500. It's going to be dropping to $2,750,000. So you're going to be saving over three quarters of a million dollars here. Its new price will save you $774,000. $500. So the Pegasi Oppressor is getting cheaper, where on the other hand, the Pegasi Oppressor Mark II is becoming severely more expensive. Holy smoke. So right now, the price of the Pegasi Oppressor Mark II is $3,000,000. $890,250. Pretty expensive. But Rockstar said, no, 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 no. That's not expensive enough for what would be considered probably the most overpowered vehicle in the game because it is now going to cost you $8 million. Holy smokes. Rockstar is doubling down on nerfing the Oppressor Mark II. And now if you want it, it's going to cost you $8 million, making it the most expensive vehicle in the game. And the price increase is a whopping $4,109,750. So this one is the one that Rockstar decided, no, no, no. We're going to make this pretty expensive. So this is Rockstar really doubling down on the nerfs that they've already made to the Oppressor Mark II. And now they're sort of putting the cherry on top with the price adjustment they're making it to $8 million. That is absolutely wild. Now, we're not done yet because Rockstar also is upgrading the price of the Pegasi Torador. So as it currently stands, it's $3,660,000. It's bumping up to $4,250,000. Again, a pretty significant jump right there for the Torador, and that actually brings the difference to $590,000. So another vehicle that's getting a little bit more expensive, including the Pegasi Weaponized Ignis. This is one of the coolest weaponized cars in the game. As it currently stands, it's $3,245,000. It's getting bumped all the way up to $4,500,000. $100,000. Again, a pretty significant increase there, a total of $1,255,000. And then last but not least, the RM10 Bumbushka added in the Smuggler's Run update is getting a little bit cheaper, which is kind of nice. Its price right now is $5,918,500, and it is being moved all the way down to $4,750,000 thousand dollars a decrease of one million one hundred and sixty eight thousand five hundred dollars okay so let's do a quick recap here and talk about the vehicles that are getting less expensive and for this what this means is if you want these cars you should not buy them until after the changes take place on april 27th so that would include the brute armored boxville that's getting cheaper, so don't buy that until April 27th. 
The HVY Chernabog is also getting cheaper, so don't buy that until then. Same with the Imponte Ruiner 2000, the Knight Rider. It's becoming way significantly cheaper. Same with the Mammoth Tula and the Mammoth Thruster. Both of those are getting significant price decreases too, as well as the Ocelot Stromberg and weirdly enough, the Pegasi Oppressor. That's getting cheaper as well. And the final one that's getting a little bit of a price decrease is the RM10 Bambushka. So those are the vehicles. If you want them, you honestly need to wait before purchasing them. However, on the flip side, the following vehicles, if you want to get them at the cheapest they're going to be, you need to buy them before April 27th. That includes the Buckingham Akula, the Declasse Granger 3600 LX, the Declasse Scramjet, the Debachi Champion, the Impante Deluxo is going up in price, the Pegasi Oppressor Mark II is significantly going up in price. I would take advantage of that now or pay almost $4 million more. And then the Pegasi Torador and the Pegasi Weaponized Ingus are all increasing. Now, it looks like Rockstar is also going to be continuing to rebalance and make adjustments to vehicles in the future. As they went on to say, in response to your feedback, we are also evaluating potential future adjustments, including rebalancing certain aerial vehicles to help protect bystanders in free mode. We will share more details on this as well as other fine-tuning efforts and service updates soon. So it looks like more adjustments to a lot of the cars, vehicles, aircrafts, landcrafts, and more are going to get adjusted soon in Grand Theft Auto Online. So I know there was a lot of numbers that we went over today, but let me know what you think of all of the vehicle price adjustments that Rockstar did, and what vehicles do you think will be reevaluated going forward that Rockstar might touch? Let me know what you think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.